What the devil are you looking at? I'm sorry? Howdy viewers, Brad for Prider of Barstool Entertainment, doing another Red Dead Redemption 2 video. In this case, it's a stranger mission that I didn't record the last time I played, and this time I got it. It's called He's British, of course. And I'm just going to let things play out for you, and you can see what's going on. What the devil are you looking at? I'm sorry? No, I'm sorry. I'm ruined. Ruined! How so? It's a disaster. Who wants to see a woman wrangle wild animals who doesn't have any bloody wild animals? Come to America, they said. Come to the land of opportunity, they said. Sod you, Daddy, I said. I'm going to America to make it on the stage. I didn't want to be in the army. Ooh. Now look at me. The old git will have a field day. I didn't really understand any of that. I had an act. The bravest woman in the world. The animal wrangler. Watch her tame wild beasts. And you were the woman. Of course I was the bloody woman. Look at me. It's the stage. Grease paint. Tears. No one wants to see a man wrangling wild animals. And no one wants to see a woman wrangling nothing. <laughs> Can I borrow your gun? I want to shoot myself. You see, I'm buggered. What? My animals. They escaped. And now I'm... I'm buggered. What, what escaped? A priceless Ranjaniki tiger from the slopes of the Hindu heights. A fantastic, elusive zebra from the plains of Ongo Bongo by the shores of the Limpopo. And a magnificent lion from the grasslands of Tanganyika. Yeah, I see your problem. They're pretty hard to come by around here. Listen, friend, help a fellow out, would you? I'm beyond desperate. If you see any of them, will you bring them back here? If I see a tiger or a lion or a zebra just roaming around. Exactly. If, well, I believe the zebra's up near Lonard Sod, distinctive creature that he is, I'll make it worth your while. All right, madam. It's bloody Margaret, not madam. Now, this British guy is very eccentric. Margaret, mistress of danger. And, well, you're going to find out he's not altogether there. But in the end, when you find these animals, it's going to be a very interesting adventure. And the first one you have to look for is the zebra. And usually, right in the middle of that area is where you're going to find the animal. I'm just going to cut to where Arthur finds a zebra because it's going to be a little bit of a ride. Look here. What they done to you? Hey, easy now. Whoa, easy. Easy, easy. Okay. Yeah, the mule has been calmed, but you can't take it by the reins. It will follow you back to Margaret, and yeah, as I said or showed in a way the mule was kind of near the center of the ma margaret area and you find them and you can't lasso them you can't lead them but eventually if you just walk away it will follow you and so once we start leading this animal to margaret 
we can then move on to the next mission. Like right now, um, Arthur's walking away and the mule is following. So yeah, I'm going to cut to where the mule is delivered to Margaret because again, it's going to be somewhat long of a ride. him our zebra <laughs> well you can call him that although he's as much a zebra as you are a lady animal wrangler oh dear you're missing the point aren't you it's an illusion a trick of the eye to bamboozle the senses confound comprehension hoodwink your audience hoodwink our audiences <laughs> dear boy don't be so dreadfully literal no one will pay for the truth they only pay for deception. The allure of the stage, dreams and reality. Ah. What is the greater conjuring trick? Lassoing some poor beast on the plains of Mumbo Jumbo Land and shipping it here so it can dance the polka? Or turning there in the glare of those arc lamps, something mundane into something extraordinary? It's the difference between prose and poetry. It's alchemy. We're selling dreams, dear boy. Well, as long as, as, long as you don't pay me with tickets to your show. Ah, uh, yes. Well, it's not everyone's cup of tea. And speaking of my payment. Of course, of course. I shall make it worth your while. But um, first, we shall need the whole menagerie back before we can think about that. My assistant's gone for the tiger. Tiger? Yes, yes. And taken our remaining lion in case it could lend a paw. They're down there on Caligar Way. Please, I hate to ask. All right, I'll see what I can do. The next mission is to find a lion and er tiger. And I'm going to cut to that because it's very interesting. Hey, mister. Oh. Miss. Howdy, mister. Did, um, did you lose a tiger? Yeah, you found one? <clears throat> no, nah, I found your caravan down the way. Uh, Margaret said that you might need a hand. Oh, you weren't wrong. That tiger's missing. I sent our best lion out to find him, and uh, now he's missing too. It is a right old predicament. Your lion from uh, Timbuktu, weren't you? Oh, from Valentine, I think. He might be more of a kind of dog than a lion, but in a certain light, a feller could never tell. <sighs> of course. Which way to go? Into them shrubs over there. Okay. Why don't you hop up on the wagon and I'll see if I can find his track. Okay. That first set of shrubs, that's where I lost sight of it. I got it. You can use Arthur's tracking powers to find the... Uh, lion that was helping to find the tiger and once you find the tiger lion combination well you're going to find something very interesting Found your dog. Ex dog, ex lion. Hey, boy. Oh, where's the rest of them? I think a cougar took him. <sighs> That'd be stripey. And I always thought they got along. But your tiger is a wild cat? Uh huh. What else? You still need it back? Oh, yes, sir. She's our star attraction. <sighs> well, let's hope it wants the other half of its dinner. <sighs> The other half? Really? I'm gonna put them in your wagon. You find somewhere to hide. Oh. Well, behind that log then. Okay. <coughs> Shrubs up. Stay down. 
She won't be too far away. I went out to find a tiger. Cougar, you mean? And I end up losing a lion. Yeah, a dog. Ain't having any luck. Well, if that's what you're dealing with, you didn't have any luck to begin with. <laughs> Cougars and dogs. Hey, it ain't what you got in this life. It's what you make of it. Well, that's very wise of you. Especially when you're lacking zebras and tigers. Hey, keep your head down. It's coming. Look, I really don't think she'll eat the dog. Like I said, they was friends. She shut it. Oh, well, I guess she's real hungry. She's feral. I'm locking her in. Let's go. We got her! Okay. Drive, will you? And I'll keep an eye on her. Sure thing. The fake lion was eaten by a fake tiger, which is actually a cougar painted with paint. And you gotta return both of them to uh, Margaret. And you find out this young woman that you met greatly admires Margaret and tells you how they ended up where they ended up and how the animals is escaped. I'm just going to fast forward through this journey because you'll have to do it. There it is, the caravan. Couldn't miss him if you wanted to. Mr. Aha! I see you found each other. Sure did, Mr. Margaret. Jolly good, jolly good. You know, tarn and feathering a donkey is one thing. I beg your pardon? It's grease paint. Makeup. But playing dolls dressed up with a wild animal, you're going to want to be a lot more careful. Strappy eight king, Mr. Margaret. I saw her do it. I always thought they got along. Oh, she liked him just fine. She licked her chops and asked for seconds. Hey, speaking of which, you got any more word on that uh, runaway lion, or are you going to pay me for these misfits? Look, I'm well aware that we're not Royal Command performance material. Daddy, you were right, goddamn you! But a cow barn in Rhodes is hardly dreary, bloody lame. You got any word on the lion? Yes, yes, I've got word on the lion. Shit is the word. Someone saw him near Emerald Ranch. As you know, we're lately very short on lions. So, I'd be very grateful. All kinds of grateful. There's only one kind of grateful I care about. So long, mister. Be a dear and fix me a gin. Now for the final mission. And I'm guessing Arthur and even you, if you haven't played the game, are thinking that this supposed lion is going to be, well, fake. And, well, I'm just going to fast forward to or cut to where... Arthur goes to Emerald Ranch to pick up the other lion. The ruckus, boys. Get back. We got a cursed creature in here. Oh, yeah? It's as big as a mule and as mean as a hellcat. <laughs> it looks like a lion to me. That's a dog in there. A dog? Now, if you excuse me, step aside. What? I said step aside. Look like no dog. 
Come here, boy. Let's go. What you done? Look what you done! Son of a bitch. Uh, I'll, I'll take care of this. Shot the thing. Is it dead? I pray that thing's a goner. Whoever owned that beast got some answering to do. The lion paw can be crafted into a lion paw trinket. You'll need some other pieces. And, well, I'm going to go back and have Arthur talk to Margaret about her lion being an actual lion and not a dog. Odysseus returns. Sally, get the cages ready. Yes, sir, Mr. Margaret, right away. Man eating lion. You didn't think that it might be useful for me to know that this time the animal was actually real, you moron? Steady on. I clearly stated that we were looking you for You haven't clearly stated anything in all the time I've known you. That could have been a goose for all I know. A knew. goose? We'll hardly get them to their feet for the curtain call. Bring on the king of the beasts, on the other hand, and they feel the roar. And they, well, look about as surprised as you do. What have you done with him, if you don't mind me asking? I killed him. He's dead. Bloody hell! This is Ramo, boy. Well, it was him or me. Now, pay me. Yes, of course, of course. I have just the thing. And what a treasure it is! You're a lucky man, sir. Very lucky man. From the mines of El Dorado, as green as the rainforest, as clear as the Amazon, and as dear as all the gold in the Andes. One man's labor is but a trifle compared to this jewel's true value. Wait! I shouldn't. What would Daddy say? Your Daddy ain't here, and we had a deal. Yes, of course. A promise is a promise. Sally, get the wagons moving. Ain't we waiting for the line? He's in the great hunting ground in the sky. Good day, sir, and thank you. But we really must be getting along. Yeah, I won't keep you. So long. So long, Mr. Morgan. Next time you see me, I'll be talking the bill, I promise. Or at least I'll be on the bill. And that's it. Uh, you get that jade emerald, and you can craft the lion paw into a lion trinket. And he is British, of course, is now over. And that is pretty much the end of this video. If you liked it, hit the thumbs up icon. Feel free to leave some comments. 
If you like this type of video, hit the subscribe button and bell icon. I post four videos a week involving video games, as well as some shorts, and you don't want to miss out. As always, I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. Thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing, and most of all, thanks for stopping by.